Good morning. Hope your day is off to a terrific start. Always should be on a Friday, don't you think? Hopefully you had a chance to go through your closet and find something that you could wear that's red today. Even as a pair of earrings or a pretty tie uh, to brighten your day because this is Go Red for Women, something the American Heart Association is passionate about each and every year. So it's a great time for us to bring in Dr. Shawani Howard Baptiste. She is with the American Heart Association and boy oh boy is she sporting her red this morning. So nice to talk to you. It's so good to talk to you. Good morning. So we're very fortunate this year on 3 Plus U because really every week the month of February we're going to be focusing on heart health because it is such an impactful disease in this country, particularly for women and as I understand it, particularly for women of color. Is that right? That's true. Unfortunately, we are seeing a rise in heart attacks and heart disease diagnosis in women of color, particularly black women and Latino women. So I'm so happy that you've had us had me on today to really share some really key points to help keep us healthy and strong. Do we know yet why it seems to be so disproportionately affecting them? Is it not getting access to care or is it something different? I think it's all of the above. I think it's access to care, certainly stress and how we manage our stress, um, lack of access to appropriate uh, grocery stores and food, having opportunities to engage in exercise and regular physical activity. So when we look at the, the factors that really impact heart health and heart disease, it's really um, the decisions that we make, but it's really our environment. So we have to really take a closer look at our environment and the things that are around us that are keeping us either healthy or unhealthy. You know, you struck on something I think is so key, and that is their access to food. Because sometimes people who don't have this struggle can think, well, what do you mean you don't have access to health care? You can get to the doctor. It's the preventive side of things that can be such a challenge. I'm so glad you said that. Prevention is really the key um, and awareness is critical. So everyone needs to know that, that cardiovascular disease, unfortunately, is the number one killer of women in the United States. So if we can look at how do we provide greater access to healthy food, sometimes people say, oh, well, you can just walk outside. But unfortunately, some of our neighborhoods, it's not safe to walk outside. So we really wouldn't recommend that, even though Chattanooga offers a number of places that we can engage in exercise and, and um, physical activity. We want to make sure that whatever we do, that we're safe. So we want to be really conscious and thoughtful about the recommendations that we make for people and keeping in mind that everyone lives in a neighborhood. So we want to make sure that our neighborhoods are safe and they have access to the things that we need to make healthy choices. There are things that you can hear and this morning somebody might be hearing this conversation and it might be the 15th time they've heard it, but it finally resonates with them today. Talk to me though as a woman about what it is to look to girls coming up today because we know so much now that could could strengthen their lives from a very young age. That's an excellent point. I think when I think about young girls and young women, I think about how do we start lifetime habits. I just had a birthday last week and turned 45. And so I've done some half marathons, some 5Ks, uh, planning a walk with friends this weekend. So what are the things that we can do at an early age as young girls, as teenagers and young women that really create a pathway and journey of lifetime fitness and exercise? Doesn't mean that I didn't have cupcakes last weekend and enjoy my birthday. <laughs> But we want to think about those types of um, foods in moderation. So certainly always a time to celebrate, but we want to think about what are the things that we're doing on a daily basis that are encouraging heart health. So you mentioned it's not a good idea for some people to get out and go for a walk outside. We are in the winter time too, which can make it difficult even in good circumstances. What about simple things like taking the stairs as opposed to an elevator or just walking around the house and counting your steps? Good idea? All excellent ideas. You know exactly what to do. Um, I just did that yesterday because it was raining outside. So I took the stairs and just did about 30 minutes. I had my music. I talked to my mom on the phone and just did the stairs <laughs> up and down. It's a really, it's a great way to catch up to family and friends, but also to get our steps in. So you can monitor your steps through your watch or a phone or an app. And it's a great way to really track your progress. And you can see quickly, hey, I only did, you know, 4,000 steps last week and now I got up to 6,000 steps. So it's a great way 
to monitor and track our fitness and exercise. I had to chuckle because what a relatable comment you just made when you said I walked the steps and was talking to my mom. We've yeah. all been there and done that, but that yeah. makes what you're sharing with us this morning so resonating with people because it's practical. It's practical, exactly. Even I, I love my mall walkers. So if it's not, uh, if it's raining outside and it's not, you know, the best weather, you know, you can take the stairs or can you walk in your home? Can you jump rope or even hula hoop in your home? Can you do things with your family and friends? Can you, you know, stand in place and do jumping jacks or stretch um, while you're watching your favorite program in the evening? So it's really about how do we create opportunities for all of us, our family and friends, to really engage in the types of behaviors and activities that will keep us healthy for a very long time and do it with your girlfriends y'all can all yes. jump together and then you're de-stressing even more <laughs> if people do have questions that have 30 seconds left if they just want to call the heart association and get some resource guide can they do that absolutely feel free to call the american heart association at 423-763-4406 again it's 423 423- 763-4406 or heart.org backslash Chattanooga. All right, Dr. Shawani Howard Baptiste, you might find me on the phone today talking to my mom going up and down the stairs. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Thank you so much. We're back after this. We grew up here, raised our families here. And that means we know every corner of the Tennessee Valley. We know what the weather can do. And we make sure you know too. What you can expect in your neighborhood. Our commitment to you for an accurate local forecast. At Jack's, everything is made with a dedication to Southern flavor, starting with never frozen, always fresh chicken fingers with fries and our